The Quicksand Book by Tommy Topola. The Quicksand Book. Oh, jungle girl, my goodness, you look very unhappy. Is it because you have fallen into quicksand? Well, don't worry. It just so happens that I know a lot about quicksand. So look and listen carefully. It will be very interesting and you might learn something. First of all, Quicksand is not a special kind of sand. It is plain sand. But when water is forced upward through the sand, the grains are pushed apart and the sand swells. When this happens, the sand is no longer firm and cannot support heavy weight. That is why you are sinking. If the water stops or drains, the quicksand becomes plain sand again. One, no water, plain sand. Two, water coming up through the sand. Three, water and sand mixed, quicksand. Four, no water coming up, sand settles. It's pulling me, it's pulling me down. No, that's not true. Quicksand does not pull you down. That's movie stuff. Instead, the weight of your body is making you sink. And if you struggle, you will sink faster. So stay calm. You see, when you struggle, you push more quicksand out of the way and sink faster. I've noticed this most people, if they stay calm, only sink up to their necks. If you had fallen on your back, you could have floated on top of it, the same way you can float on the Great Salt Lake or the Dead Sea. But it's a little late for that now. Plain water, easier to sink. Water with lots of salt, water with lots of sand, easier to float because sand and salt help things help hold things up do you know where quicksand can be found no well i'll tell you the most common form of quicksand is found along the shores or in the beds of slow rivers and streams that have underground springs just like where you are Quicksand will form along shores or under water near a bank. Quicksand will sometimes form in midstream. Quicksand can form in a riverbed that looks dry. Could you please help me out? In just a minute, I want you to look at what happens to animals if they happen to wander into quicksand. Horses usually leap out in short rabbit-like jumps. Mules lie down on their bellies with their feet tucked underneath them. They won't sink in this position. Cattle need help because they panic and sink quickly. If you knew how to watch out for quicksand, you, would, you wouldn't have fallen in. You should have carried a long stick or pole to test the stick the sand first. The quicksand would have rolled like waves if you had done this. But the vine I was swinging on broke. Jungle boy, I'm up to my shoulders, help me out. If you had been carrying a stick or a pole, you could have gotten out like this. Read the chart carefully. These facts are very helpful if you're alone and if you have a stick with you. One, call for help. Two, fall on your back. Three, put stick under shoulders with arms out to side. Four, push stick to help, to hips. Five, slowly pull legs out one at a time. Six, don't tire yourself out. Take rest between moves. Seven, use the stick to keep floating on quicksand. Eight, Row a little at a time to solid ground. Nine, rest. But Jungle Girl, this is your lucky day. I'm here to help you. 
I could stretch out on that log and pull you out with my hands. That would take a lot of work. Instead, I show you use a strong vine, slip the vine under your arms, and hang on. Oh, Jungle Boy, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Next time, don't be so careless and watch where you're going. Now, now, remember what you told me. Just keep calm, lie on your back, and float. I'll pull you out when I finish my tea.